Now what we know is, is that the body goes into survival mode and it says, you know what? We need a lot of oxygen and a lot of blood being pumped out and pushed out to our muscles so that we can perform at an optimal level. Now to do that, the, one of the effects is bronchodilation. You see the airways will relax and get larger so we can, we can optimize airflow in and out of the lungs. The last thing you want to do when you're running from a bear is have to stop and, and hit your albuterol inhaler or stop because you start to wheeze because of bronchoconstriction. You see, the body is made for that not to happen because it will bronchodilate in that situation, which is good. Okay, so this is a good thing because as we start to, to, to dive into the pharmacology associated with drugs affecting the sympathetic nervous system from a respiratory therapy standpoint, that's what we try to do when we give these drugs. That's why we call them bronchodilators, right? So you're going to see where this all ties together here real soon. Now, what we also know is that the sympathetic nervous system will yield an increase in heart rate and an increase in force or contractility.